Niall here with another Clash Academy Valhalla Files series. Hova G, an early Town Hall 8 strategy. This is a pretty effective strategy once you get those Hog Riders up to level 3 for early Town Hall 8 wars. This is one of my targets in one of the wars. If you look there, the orange stands for where I'm going to deploy Giants, which I'm going to do first, after luring and then using the Valkyrie strategy. And right down the middle, I'm going to send my Valkyrie. And once my Valkyrie have really occupied the defenses, I'm going to send my Hog Riders behind. I call this a Cavalry Charge strategy. It's a very powerful and tight-knit bases where you can predict Giant Bomb placement. I start there by placing a Giant to lure Clan Castle. When you're a Town Hall 8 in a war, it's always best to lure because um, the enemy might have level 6 wizards so that could uh, one-shot your Valkyrie or dragons or whatever, but in a, at least in a mixed war, you never know quite how powerful your opponent might be. If you look here, I'm trying to bunch up the clan castle troops. And you want to do this fairly quickly. And now you're about to see me drop in Archer to distract and then place a Valkyrie right down in the middle. And I'll slow it down there so you can see here, just demolish. I threw a few extra wizards in there in case the splash wasn't enough to get them all. Because you don't want to waste too much time doing that or you'll run into a timer problem. So now I'm going to deploy my giants to um, make a funnel. Really the purpose of the giants is to clear uh, buildings to the left and the right so that I can uh, send my Valkyrie in without worrying about them taking a jaunt around the base. I drop a heal to keep them alive and I'm going to do that on both sides so basically so I don't need as many giants. Um, I only did this on this kind of base because I needed the giants to last a little longer while my wizards um, supported them from behind. And there I send in the Valkyrie. Um, since I made the funnel, um, they're going to run right in there. And uh, I'm going to watch them. And as they progress, I'm going to decide exactly where I want my hog riders. I actually want my hog riders coming up right behind, as you see there. That way they uh, enter the base on a pl place where I've seen the Valkyrie uh, sniff out for traps. Plus the defenses have already started targeting the Valkyrie first, so the Hog Riders kind of get um, in uh, under cover of fire. And there I drop a heal spell where I think uh, several defenses are that the Hog Riders are going to spend some time. And if you look here I'm going to start just wiping the base out because the Hog Riders have very high attack. Uh, my Hog Riders in this video are currently at level 3. Um, at level 2, they're really too weak and fragile, and it's hard to pull off the strategy against a Town Hall 8 base. Um, if you run into a giant bomb, they, they can get fried pretty fast. But once you hit level 3, their attack is high enough that um, they can do pretty good damage. And there I clear the base out for 100%. So I'll move into the next base. Um, I'm going to make a funnel with my giants again, but this time I want to use a uh, crisscross where the hog riders um, go on a flank, as I call it, of the Valkyrie. And in this strategy, the Valkyrie, where the red arrow is, are going to occupy those two wizard towers, which are really the biggest enemy of the hog riders. Their splash damage can thin out hog riders a lot faster than the other um, towers. Again, I'm going to start with luring the clan castle and I'm going to try to do the Valkyrie trick again. I recommend that anybody who uses Valkyrie based strategies utilize the Valkyrie trick there. Boom! One hit. Um, no damage to the Valkyrie. That was perfect. Um, this time I'm not going to use a heal spell on the Giants because really um, it's preferable to use those heal spells on the Hog Riders but sometimes you need the Giants to hold up a little longer. But I'm creating a good funnel, so I'm just going to save those heal spells, and there I send in my Valkyrie. And when they occupy those two wizard towers is when I'm going to deploy the heal. Um, the wizard towers and the barbarian king are really your primary target in this strategy. And there you see I deploy my hog riders. In this scenario I deploy the three as a unit at the same time so they move across the base as a unit and this is to make them clear the base faster. One of your biggest um, obstacles using this strategy will be time. Um, you also see that I have a, like three wizards in the bank and I'm going to deploy them on the opposite side of where my units are heading and that's to help increase the time that um, reduce the time that it takes to clear the extra buildings. Um, again, it's time that a lot of times prevents this three star. 
And there you go, three stars. Here I'm going to show another variation upon the crisscross strategy. Um, this was a follow-up attack, so you see that I have giant bombs labeled, and then you'll see me sniff those out and uh, drop, occupy the Tesla. But this time, instead of deploying my hog riders all at the same time, I'm going to start from the left to the right so they swing like a door. Again, the intention of this is to clear the base as fast as I can. The hog riders will move away from where my Valkyrie are, which is, um, to, again, help clear the base fast. Again, you'll see me attack on the side that has both Wizard Towers and the Barbarian King. And that's really good for this setup. Um, this was a follow-up attack, so I knew there was going to be a Tesla in the corner. Um, so I drop um, my uh, Giant and Wizard to destroy the Tesla quick. And then I get the units bunched up, and again, I'll use the Valkyrie trick to kill them quickly. Um, if you get this right, you can clear a can clan castle very efficiently, which is very critical for doing a um, well in clan wars. Again, I'm going to try to create a funnel. I panic a little bit, and I drop my Barbarian King next to the opposing Barbarian King. I was going to save him for cleanup because I knew all the Teslas were in the corner. Um, earlier you saw me try to sniff out the giant bombs. I missed the one on the top. You'll see me trigger it. Um, I still get the three star, and there goes the giant bomb. So um, I get my uh, Valkyrie in there to occupy the wizard towers, and I kill the barbarian kin because he is uh, one of the bigger threats to the hog riders. And here you'll see me deploy my hog riders so that they swing like a door. I'm going from right to left. Um, and that's so they swing away from where my ha um, Valkyrie are going. And that is, again, to speed up how fast they go through the base. If I did it differently, um, they uh, would still go through the base very efficiently. But um, they'd end up in the same place as my Valkyrie. And uh, basically, uh, it's to save time. And now my uh, hog riders are going on going on a jaunt, but this is a good early Town Hall 8 strategy. The giants really are just to create a funnel for the most part, and the bulk of this is Valkyrie and hog riders. I really recommend it for Town Hall 8s uh, in war. So this has been a Death's Door and Bahala production. Bahala is now open 24-7. Clash Academy series, the all Valkyrie clans, since uh, this was outside of an event. And special thanks to Hafid and Negi Bundy for helping me run Bahala.